Yo, what's up mga people? Welcome back to our channel. This is Antler and today's video we are gonna talk about uh, Challenge Reef. Okay, so uh, regarding the Challenge Reef um, Some of the challenges here is we need to get it by solo like for this one for the additional uh, loot buff which is uh, held on the uh, health 4 and of course if you will reach paragon 150 so you will get this kind of bonus for you to able to get this you need to do the uh, challenge reef alone so you will not get it by party so my my build is uh, same like my build in my uh, pve build it's just that you need to uh, have a uh, strategy okay on dealing with challenge reef so on our focus here uh, we will skip the yellow uh, yellow elite so we will just kill the blue elite for uh, like uh, faster um, challenge reef because there's a certain time you need to finish it now for our build is the same with our pve build okay the lasting hate um, the gathering wrecking fall for our attack speed uh, screaming fury for our furious charge knock up um, eagle mill storm for the uh, why uh, more range for our whirlwind and of course broken sword for our critical chance and uh, of course we don't have other sets so we will focus around this urge set there is a different build for challenge reef okay uh, if we have the this kind of uh, set the open god so, so, so if we have this grace of uh, frag flag length uh, sets we will have a different build for challenge reef once I get these sets, I will show you the other um, build for the challenge reef wherein even, you, uh, even the level is too high for you, you can still do the reef. Even though with this build, we can still do it. So I will show you how to do the challenge reef uh, with this kind of uh, set. Okay, so our skill here is Whirlwind, Furious Charge, uh, Sprint and Wrath of Berserker. The sprint is replaceable with Undying Rage if the mobs uh, are hitting hard to you like one one hit your life is already like one third like that or one half so we're gonna change this to Undying Rage okay so I will just show you how to do it. Uh, about the Paragon of course we will focus on uh, the damage nodes here okay damage after gladiator you will go to vanquisher you take this damage here and in treasure you will get the damage here so once you get all that one you will get damage total of 1400 okay so we will go now so i will try number 98 So we will just focus on blue leaves, okay? Like this. These hands will grant no so of course, mercy. better if we will get something else besides blue. So we just turn around here. Uh, don't let the, the mobs hit you. Okay. already uh, too high for my combat right so that's what happened so the sprint you can uh, replace it with undying reach if uh, like you cannot manage you know the damage from uh, mobs so for example here i'll just show you 
Which I should be done dying rich here. So again, we will find a uh, blue elite. So just as we can. Still recharging. Or if uh, they are too many, feels like much this, better. so we can uh, gather them around like this. Okay. After we uh, move okay. around. So that we cannot hit you. Okay. Don't let them make sure it's not in the energy. Like that only for the challenge rift. Okay. You just need to have the strategy when dealing with the monsters, especially if the difficulty is uh, very high already on your combat rate. Monsters are very faithful. are hitting very hard for us. Let them out. I need aid. I am renewed. I 
Find healing. So you just need to know how to uh, deal with the bosses. Of course, for a very long time of playing Diablo, you, you must know already on how to deal with each bosses some bosses are very easy like um, you just need to go to the back of the boss once he is doing the skill so you just need to learn how to deal with each bosses then challenge trip will be easy so uh, if this video helps you please subscribe and uh, please hit the notification bell for um, to be notified if there's uh, new videos we will releasing soon thank you very much adios